change the order of integration integral 0 to 1 integral x square to 2 minus x x by dy dx and hence evaluate it so the given integral integral 0 to 1 integral x square to 2 minus x x y dy dx so this is given integral so now first I am going to write the given limit so given limit the given limit is first I have to write the x limit another one y limit ok so here the inner integral having the limit variable sx so inner inner limit inner integral having limit in terms of x so that it is limit for y so it is limit for y so y limit is x square to 2 minus x obviously this is x limit 0 to 1 0 to 1 okay so now the y limit is x square to 2 minus x so it represents two equations one is y equal to x square another one is y equal to 2 minus x the first one parabola another one straight line so here I am going to draw a diagram for the given limit y axis this is x axis ok so here y equal to x square it is parabola in u shape so this is y equal to x square y equal to x square another one y equal to 2 minus x that means y equal to 2 minus x means this is x plus y equal to 2 so this is straight line in intersect form so like that this is x plus y equal to 2 ok and now here the given there are close to region here there are close the close regions are if the line goes it intersects in the another side of parabola so this is also close to region here also close to region but we have to draw a strip based on the given limit the given limit is y limit variable the y limit variable means it represents vertical strip so here we have to put vertical strip but here we cannot put vertical strip because if you put vertical strip here it starts from the y x axis x axis means it should start from 0 but here start from x square so definitely the vertical strip here not possible next another here possible vertical strip here the strip start from the parabola end with the straight line so definitely the vertical strip is here only because this vertical strip start from the parabola and also given parabola and end with straight line here also given end with straight line so this is of the possible so this is the given region so the vertical strip start from the parabola and end with straight line so now given limit corresponding diagram and now I am going to change the horizontal strip this vertical strip I am going to change to horizontal strip in this region but this is every one of the special problem because if you put horizontal strip there are two possibilities one possibility is end with the parabola another possibility is end with the straight line so that this we have to it divides into two portion one is here another one is here ok so now I am going to put horizontal strip in this region so there are two possibility one horizontal strip end with parabola another horizontal strip end with straight line so that this portion I am going to take it as I1 this portion I am going to take it as I2 there are two portion and I want to find out the point of intersection 
So point of intersection between parabola and straight line so that I am going to solve these two. So y equal to x square, put y equal to x square here. So x plus x square equal to 2. So now x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Solving these two, x plus 2 into x minus 1 equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 1. The parabola and straight line intersect at two places one at minus two and another one at x equal to one. So this is a positive quadrant. So here definitely positive value only possible. So x value is one. Minus two is intersect here. So this is out of the region so we don't want to take. When x is equal to one, put x equal to one here, y also one. So now this is one comma one. Another here, this is a straight line intersect with y axis in the y axis x value 0 when you put y x y sorry when you this is x value 0 when put x is equal to 0 y equal to 2 so this is 0 comma 2 obviously it is 0 comma 0 origin and now there are two portion here the portion is i1 and this portion you take it as i2 Okay, so now we are going to find the limit for I1 and I2. In the both region, both are horizontal strip. Horizontal strip means X variable, Y constant. Okay, so now first one for I1 region. In the I1 region, I am going to find X1, X limit and Y limit. So in I1, X limit, horizontal strip, X is a variable, Y is a constant. Y is a constant mean in this region, Y limit is 0 to 1. So this is 0 to 1. X limit, X limit variable, so that the strip starts from the axis. From the axis it is 0. It is end with the parabola. From the parabola, what is X? It is root Y for I1 is over and next for I2 for I2 region for I2 region I am going to find X limit and Y limit ok so now in the I2 region horizontal strip so X variable Y constant Y constant mean in the I2 Y is 1 to 2 so the here 1 to 2 and x is variable, x variable mean the horizontal strip start from the axis so that it is 0 to end with the straight line. From the straight line what is x? 2 minus y. So this is 2 minus y. So now we found limit for both region i1 and i2. So we have to evaluate the given integral for both the limit and add these two we will get the answer. Okay, so now i1 I1 for the first one integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to root y the integral function is xy so xy the first integral with respect to x so that dx dy so integrating with respect to x so 0 to 1 x square by 2 into y so integration with respect to x is x square by 2 the limit for x is 0 to root y into dy. So here we can take two outside so 1 by 2 integral 0 to 1 you see substituting root y for x so squaring root y means y y into y y square so y square dy so now 1 by 2 into integration of y square y cube by 3 y cube by 3 limit is 0 to 1 so 1 by 2 into substituting limit 1 by 3 so this is 1 by 6 1 by 6 you see for the region of i1 next we have to find out i2 and now i2 for second region limit 1 to 2 0 to 2 minus y xy dx dy 
ओके द फर्स्ट इंटीग्रल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो इंटीग्रल वन टू टू एक्स स्क्वायर बाय टू एक्स इंटीग्रल इनटू वाई लिमिट फॉर एक्स इज़ जीरो टू टू माइनस वाई इनटू डी वाई सो टेक अ टू आउटसाइड वन बाय टू आउटसाइड इंटीग्रल वन टू टू सब्सट्यूटिंग अपर लिमिट हियर सो टू माइनस वाई द होल स्क्वायर इनटू वाई डी वाई एंड नाउ वन बाय टू इंटीग्रल वन टू टू अप्लाई ए माइनस बी द होल स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी इंटू वाई डी वाई अनाउ वन बाय टू इंटीग्रल वन टू टू मल्टीप्लाई वाई इनसाइड फोर वाई प्लस वाई क्यू बाय थ्री माइनस फोर वाई स्क्वायर इंटू डी वाई सो नाउ इंटीग्रेटिंग विद रेस्पेक्ट टू वाई सो फोर वाई स्क्वायर बाय टू y power 4 by 4 minus 4 y cube by 3 limit 1 to 2 so now 1 by 2 substituting upper limit okay so here substituting upper limit 2 square 4 16 16 by 2 8 substituting 2 power 4 2 power 4 16 so 16 by 4 16 by 4 is 4 minus substituting 2 here 2 cube 8 8 4 sir 32 by 3 upper limit over minus lower limit 1 means 1 2 cancel 2 plus 1 by 4 minus 4 by 3 so lower limit also over now we have to simplify the simplification part so the simplification part 1 by 2 into 8 plus 4 12 minus 32 by 3 taking minus inside minus 2 minus 1 by 4 plus 4 by 3 so now I want to simplify the simplification again 1 by 2 into 12 minus 2 10 minus 32 by 3 4 by 3 so 32 minus 32 plus 4 means 28 by 3 minus 1 by 4 so here you take LCM 12 so when you take LCM 12 12 mean multiply 12 12 into 10 120 so 12 mean 4 28 into 4 28 into 4 112 so 12 mean multiply 3 3 1 into 3 3 so here 120 115 120 minus 115, 5. So 5 by 12 into 2, 24. So this is I2. So we found I2. So now we know I is equal to, given integral is equal to I1 plus I2. But we found I1 is equal to 1 by 6. Already we found I1 is equal to 1 by 6. So 1 by 6 plus I2 is equal to 5 by 24. So take LCM 24, so 6 into 4, 4, plus 5, so answer is 9 by 24. So this is the answer of the given. This is finally 3 by 24, 9 by 24.